Hey, Crowd Vibers. Um, Jason and Starsky here. You'll have to watch episode three to get the, the story behind the name. But uh, as I was recording my previous, uh, um, the recap and preview, I realized that uh, I told you I had a denim story and I never told you. So uh, this is my denim story, which is really an article sound system story. So here we go. Red Rocks, Morrison, Colorado. It was August 12th and 13th. Um, solid weekend. Slightly stupid. Two nights at Red Rocks. Night one included denim, Ayaterra, soja, and then um, slightly stupid headlining. Night two, the elevators, Andy Frasco, the movement, and then slightly stupid performing the entire album, Closer to the Sun, front to back. Let's do it. It was awesome. Holy shit balls. It was amazing. We had a really cool tailgate scene. Bunch of folks um, from North Carolina and Virginia. Uh, we were hanging out within the parking lot. Um, uh, we got in early, wanted to get good seats. I get a text from my buddy Prav, and um, he was like, hey, can you get away? And I was like, yeah, dude, we uh, just settled in, um, just got our seats, and uh, it was probably about 25 minutes before the show started. Um, so we connect, and he had these uh, uh, side, pa uh, side stage passes. And uh, so we, he's like, hey, dude, I want to show you um, the tunnel where all the artists sign. We saw it on our tour earlier. So, um, so I was like, yeah, dude, I want to go see it. Let's go check it out. So we, we make our way back to side stage, backstage area. And apparently they had just closed off access to the tunnel where all the artists sign on the wall. And um, so I was kind of bummed, but, you know, we we're already there side stage. So we hung out. And then, um, you know, while I, I appear calm, cool, and collected on the outside, I'm secretly fanboying on the inside. We're just kind of standing around talking among the who's who of everyone that's there at Red Rocks that weekend. And it's like, dude. There's the keyboard player for Ayaterra. And I'm like, dude, there's Cal Bunger from Denim. And then, like, the whole Denim team comes out, and they're doing their huddle. They're about to go on stage. Really cool to see. Um, so we find this cool little spot, and uh, and uh, Denim opens up. And, uh, you know, everyone says the, so the sound on the side stage sucks. It does. It didn't matter to me, though, because we knew all the words, and we're just singing along. But halfway through the song, I kind of I glance over my shoulder, and I was like, holy shit, dude. I uh, elbow prob and I'm like, I give him the nod. I'm like, dude, look behind us. And uh, I'm not shitting you. It's Logan from Article Sound System. Like, it's just, it's just standing behind us. And uh, <laughs> after the song, you know, we just turned around and we had, we had this like moment and it was so cool. Um, Logan is such a nice person and we gave hugs and we asked her, you know, hey, are you performing this weekend? And she was like, no, we're just, um, just here to hanging out. And, um, and then, you know, we hung out for another song or two, and, and then we went back to our seats. Um, and Prav looked at me. He goes, dude, guarantee you she's going to play with Andy Frasco tomorrow. She's going to play the Bagel song. And I was like, I don't know, man. But sure enough, she came out the next day, played with Andy Frasco. So that's my denim story, which is really an article sound system story. And I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, y'all. Enjoy the crowd vibes.